Hello, everybody. Welcome to Abba's Hand. And today I will be making my very first tutorial. It'll be about how to make a combo system. Now, first, I made the character in Blender. I gave him some attack animations. There's actually five, but only four was shown. But don't worry, the fourth one is there. And this is the animator controller for the 3D model that will help control the animations. We got the idle, the run, the jump, and also I know that in the parameters it says is grounded instead of is grounded, but don't worry, that's that's for a reason. Anyways, in the parameters we have attack 1, attack 2, attack 3, and etc. And as you see here, when the idle goes to the attack animation, I disabled has exit time, checked fixed duration, but made the transition duration 0, so it could just go right to it. And it goes to the attack one if attack one is true. Then here where it goes back to the idle, uncheck both the boxes, make transition duration 25 so it'll go smoothly to the idle. And clearly it'll go back to the idle if attack one is false. Then as for going to attack two, it's the same thing as the idle going to attack one, only it'll go if attack two is true. Same thing if attack three is true, attack four, and etc. And they'll all go back to the idle if their respective attack parameter is false. Very simple. Anyways, um, real quick, here's my character setup. But I want to make it clear that this combo system will not interfere with any code you might have for your character. All I have here is the movement script with the character model assigned to the animators and the player model and stuff like that. But as I said before, it should not interfere with any code. I'm not an expert, so if it does... Well, uh, you know, don't be mad at me. I just don't think it will. Also, here in the script where it says animat, it's referring to an animator. I just called an animat. The animator will help tell the script what object to animate, which in this case is the 3D model. Now let's jump into Visual Studio. And I'll also explain what's going on for those who really want to, in detail, know what's going on. Now, on the top, where it says Public Animator Animat, and you can call the Animat part whatever you want, as long as it's a name that refers to the animator, it doesn't matter. Um, then you have Public Int, Number of Clicks, it counts how many times you click the button. Float, Last Click Time, how long it took you before you click the button again. Max Combo Delay, how long it takes you to click the button before it is reset to zero. And, um... Then when it says if time dot time minus last click time is greater than max combo delay, basically if you set the max combo delay to a half a second and it takes you longer than half a second to press the button again, it will reset the value to zero. Then where it says if input get button down part two basically means if you press a button, it will add to the amount of times you click the button. And as you could see below it, it also says if the number of clicks equals zero, if the thing resets to zero, all the attack animations will be set to false and go back to idle. Then right below it, all of this stuff basically means if you click the button once, attack one will play. If you click it twice, attack two will play, and etc. And this last line of code basically puts a limit on how many times it'll count you pressing the button before it goes back to zero. Now, if I press it once, attack one will play. Press it twice, attack three, two will play. Press it three times, three attacks will play. And again, press it four times, uh, the four attacks will play. And press it five times, the full complete attack cycle will play. And there you have it. That is the combo system. And real quick, I added a beam that looks like a Kamehameha wave. Anyways, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Please put in the comments what you would like to see me draw on the computer because I also do art on this channel. And um, please like and subscribe. And even if you don't, just thanks for watching my videos, but it would be most appreciated. Bye!